Hi guys, I'm here in my uh, garage and uh, I have something very, very beautiful to show. It's uh, actually the garage of the apartment building. Uh, but as you can see, something very shiny is standing here. Something very beautiful, and it is nothing less than my beautiful Lamborghini that I bought. Of course, it's a convertible. It doesn't, I think it doesn't look that great with the roof on, but once the roof is off, it looks gorgeous. Um, I've always been in convert, uh, into convertibles, so and when I saw this one convertible uh, with the roof off, I was sold. I thought, wow, what a beautiful car. It's nice that uh, there are some other beautiful cars here, like uh, you have the Tesla here, uh, and then you have also here a new Porsche. Um, they are not mine. So yeah, you can't see, but the color is actually very beautiful. Um, it, it just shows yellow probably when you watch this video. But actually, when you're standing here, you can see that actually it's a special yellow. But when you are in the sun, you will see that much better. It has a lot of silver uh, glitter in it, um, which makes it really shine out with the sun on. Um, I'm not going to launch it up right now because the problem is it has some quirks, uh, the Lamborghini Gallardo, uh, one of them being that um, if you launch, start the motor just for a minute and then turn it off again, then um, after doing that 10 times uh, you will have broken something. <laughs> So the, the guy said that don't do that. You have to drive at least 10 minutes before you shut down the engine again. And, uh, and so, yeah, I'm not going to just fire it up. Uh, but you actually, to take the roof off, well, you also need to fire it off, fire, the, fire it up, because um, otherwise you're draining the battery too much. Oh, yeah, you don't have to. You could put the roof off without... without... Uh, without firing it up. Maybe I can, I can try that. Let's, let's try that. Eh? So I'll put, the, I'll put the camera here so that you can see it. Like this. Eh? And I'll also will put, put down the car because now the up, the front is, uh, is up here. This is up. Uh, you can lift this uh, for uh, to take uh, steep uh, hills. There we go.
Take down the windows. Voila. Voila. And what do you think? Looks better or not? <laughs> Much better, eh? This is not really sharpening. As you can see, these seats are very beautiful. See, it has yellow stitching. The leather, you see, you have leather on the wheel. Yeah. And it's all uh, carbon. You have a lot of carbon details. And this is carbon. The leather. It's very beautiful. The leather has been just redone before I bought it, or one year ago. So this leather looks like from a brand new Lamborghini, but the Lamborghini itself is from 2006. So it's almost 10 years old, it's nine years old, because it's 2015 now. But, um, well, I think it looks really, really good. Um, this is a race car, it has a V10 engine. Um, it has 520 horsepower, consumes on average about 20 liters per 100 kilometer, and, um, and uh, <laughs> it has a great sound system too. <laughs> Looks gorgeous, eh? I like the wheels too. The wheels are uh, black, uh, shiny, uh, and then you have the calipers, also yellow with a nice Lamborghini sign. I put on winter tires because, yeah, it is still winter, but this is the perfect car for me, really. Look, I like this too, you have Lamborghini here. And the small details, eh? See, you almost have no storage space, so here you have a little... Uh, can you see that? No, you can't. Anyway, um, there is an extra subwoofer here on the legs of the passenger that has been nicely built in, but it did, this does take away a little bit of uh, room for the left passenger. But since there will be mainly beautiful uh, women in this car, um, the legs may be upwards um, uh, positioned. Uh, yeah, the storage space is a real disaster, so you can't really travel with this car. But, um, well, no, because you don't have the storage. Unless you travel alone, use a passenger seat, but otherwise you will have to do it with this. <laughs> Which is really not a lot of storage space. Because only the middle goes in a bit. Huh? And it goes only here. <laughs> very, very, very... But right below you have like oh, some 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 stuff. But the problem is so 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 what 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 was built? You see an extra um, receiver here. So a very strong receiver, Kove Audio, if you can see it. But um, but um, and that's cool. But it does take a space again. This should actually be 
like empty, but it isn't. So I am. I do prefer having a strong uh, audio system and losing some space. Mm. Yeah. It also has a GPS, a new GPS system, because in the middle there, the standard GPS system of the Gallardo of 2006 did not have Bluetooth, and this one has, uh, which is also really, really cool to have my favorite music on all the time. Um. <laughs> See the yellow stitching goes on the dashboard too. Very beautiful. So yeah, top speed is 310 kilometers an hour. I did uh, only 270 uh, when I was driving it back home from Germany where I bought it. Uh, but I didn't feel safe, so I slowed down quick uh, immediately. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was the road, maybe it's the car, we'll have to see. But <laughs> when you're 270, you can just push, push the gas in and, and, and you will still pull. <laughs> it's crazy. It's very powerful. But, um, yeah, and it feels safe too because, well, no, not at 270. I didn't feel safe anymore, but... When you're driving 100, 200 kilometers, 200 kilometers an hour, you feel really, really, um, it's very wide car, very low. And when you take a turn, it feels very fixed on the road, very uh, stick to the road, stuck, even when it's a wet. Because um, it has winter tires, four wheel drive, ABS, ESP. So it is a safe car for driving, not for crashing. <laughs> Um, the problem here is that, uh, well, I'm a, a bigger guy, so if this goes, to, if this uh, rolls over, I'm fucked. That's the problem with the convertible. If it rolls over, well, it does have two steel bars that will pop out uh, here. They will pop out here. Uh, but these, I've seen these steel bars, they are not very high, and they are small, like they are like this, like this like this maybe so if you roll over into dirt uh, it will just uh, ditch itself i dug it dig itself into the dirt and and your head is still uh, uh crashing into the ground so this is also a convertible porsche but it's higher you know when you're a bigger guy the, the lamborghini is built lower so and this is uh, built higher so your head is better uh, protected uh, here my hat is like coming out like this like my hat is here somewhere so at the same height of the screen almost and when I drive convertible the wind actually goes into my hair um, uh, so yeah but I'm lucky that I fit in I'm 1 meter 87 or 88 or 89 and so um, I'm lucky because if I'm 1 meter 95, I wouldn't fit in. So yeah, uh, don't roll over. Uh, it's uh, strongly advised with this car. I do hope that they build them safer uh, in the future. But when you crash and you don't roll over, it seems that the of course, the front, you don't have an engine, so that will uh, uh, evaporate quickly, but um, but it seems that it is uh, I strongly built around the, 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 the people inside. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, this is, uh, of course, dangerous. Another car is coming here. So yeah, I should fire it up, eh? but I'm just gonna 
not do that another time so thanks so much for watching and talk to you later bye